Thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Gemini might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon. I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for May 21st through the 31st, 2020. Keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless. So whether you come across this reading right after I upload a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. And if it doesn't completely resonate with you, keep the parts that do, disregard the rest. And if you know your other planetary placements, then please listen to those other signs as well for additional messages. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Gemini and ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Gemini for May 21st through 31st. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for May 21st through the 31st? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Gemini for May 31st, 21st through the 31st? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Gemini for May 21st through 31st? All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to divide these cards into three stacks. Okay, now the card on the bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles, all right, and this is your overall energy for the spread. As we go through this reading, I'm going to show you how this King of Pentacles is going to relate to the other cards that come up in your reading. Now, the King of Pentacles is that king that is all about that stability, that loyalty, that constancy, that trust. Uh, someone who has, um, who really, really values home, um, beauty, art, that type thing security okay that's always good right okay now for those of you who are new here I do four columns the first column represents you what you may have recently been going through uh, things that are um, <clears throat> currently happening and things that are coming towards you people situations opportunities things like that the second column is the same thing only it's for your twin flame your soulmate your karmic partner um, this could be uh, an ex this could be somebody you just met uh, but it's usually the person that you think of first in the morning when you wake up and the last person you're thinking about when you fall asleep at night. Now the third column <clears throat> is to do with obstacles and challenges, fears, anxieties, that type thing. And the last column has to, is <clears throat> your outcome. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm going to pull one more card here because that one fell out. All right. Now... We have the Five of Pentacles. Actually, several fell out, but that's okay. We'll get to them in a minute. We have the Three of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. This tells me that, you know, you might have been uh, working on something for a while. You've kind of been feeling like maybe you've been left out, like you've been abandoned, like uh, your partner hasn't quite been there for you, and you keep waiting and waiting and waiting for your partner to show you the same type devotion and um constancy that you have put into this relationship and you're just really feeling like it's just never going to happen. You get those little bits here and there, but it's never really enough to sustain you. Now your partner, okay, you've threatened leaving. You might have left for a while, a couple of days, a week or two, even a month or so, but this really does hurt them and they really do see you as that uh, queen of pentacles. They see you as somebody that can uh, really, truly, you know, uh, be there for them and offer that security and be that solid for them, that ride or die type uh, relationship. And without you, they feel kind of lost. They're, they're all, it's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye, right? Well, they, they like going around playing and cutting up and doing all kinds of things that are not the best and when they do that uh, and you have had enough and it's something that you just absolutely can't 
tolerate, then they feel all sad and hurt and they end up feeling like they are the ones being left out and abandoned. So it's like this little uh, exchange that you guys have going on there. Now, in your obstacles and challenges, we of course have this Nine of Pentacles and we have the Two of Swords. So, you know, you're, you're trapped between feeling like, do I nurture this and let it grow? Do I, uh, do I keep putting more in this? Am I, do I keep my focus on this? Do I walk away? Do I find uh, something that's more worthy of what I need in my life? Uh, or do I just keep um, participating in the same little merry-go-round that's been going on for the last while? It feels like months and maybe a year or so that this type of situation has been going on. So you get to the point that you have this page of swords and you have the seven of swords. So your partner may be doing some little sneaky things behind your back and you being you are going to kind of figure out what's going on. You kind of see things for what they are. Uh, even when they lie to you or manipulate you, it's, uh, it's, like you see right through them. It's like uh, you're onto them before they even start. They're not, you know, they're not really fooling you. You're pretty much able to find out anything, okay? Now, when we get to the second set of four cards, now I just had put out four rows here with two cards in each row. That's eight cards. I'm gonna do this two more times for a grand total of 24 cards. All right, now we have seven uh, pinnacles as well as the high priestess, and she's been showing up a lot, as well as for your partner, the judgment and the queen of cups. All right, in your obstacles and challenges, we have the tower and we have the three of cups. And in your outcome, we have the eight of wands and the nine of, nine of wands, okay. Okay, so with this Nine of Pentacles, you know, you continue to like, you know, work on your future, grow in your family. If you have a family, uh, you are continuing to, uh, you know, secure that, that you, you know, we talked about you waiting on your ships to come in, not just for uh, that relationship, but it's like for your career, you're building that solid uh, future for yourself and this is something that you know is really really important to you you've thought about it you have worked on it you've worked on yourself you've uh, continued to upgrade yourself and um, it's really something that's important to you and you take the time that you need to to nurture this situation now with your partner having the Queen of Cups as well as the judgment this is someone like uh, you know when they're feeling very sad or you might have walked away from them. They pull on those tears. They they uh, tell you the pretty things that you want to hear. They tell you uh, all of the sensitive and emotional things that Gemini's love to hear. And they want this resurrection. They don't want to be separate from you, but at the same time, they want to be able to go on and do whatever it is that they want to do. They really have this uh, seven of swords in their it's like ingrained in their personality. It's like uh, they, they really believe that they can have you in their life and they can uh, continue to um, just do whatever they want. And with this judgment card, it's not just about that resurrection of, of uh, bringing the relationship back together. It's about you deciding that you do not want that in your life anymore. So when we get to the obstacles and challenges well we had that two of swords earlier and this is you you know thinking about this thing is this hindering what I want to build do I cut this out of my life and we end up having the tower and it feels as if you know everything's falling apart but for a while you're gonna find that you're out there having a pretty good time because you're not being disrespected you're not being mistreated you're not being lied to you don't have to stress over and worry about these things that this person is doing and basically this whole thing is falling apart the decision that you made <clears throat> to uh, move on from this relationship you know, you've done it before. You've either you're gonna either keep 
going back and forth with this type of relationship or you're going to uh, find that, you know, it's going to keep, this situation is going to keep repeating. Something different actually has to happen. But in a way, you are, this is your outcome. You are afraid to move forward. You're kind of cautious. You're on to them. They're not going to get away with uh, their lies and their being sneaky and manipulating you because quicker than they can do it, you're already five steps ahead of them. Uh, when they're they're doing something, you you already know what the outcome is. They've already acted accordingly. And when we get to this third row, we have the Six of Wands as well as the Six of Cups. All right. In your partner's column, we have the Moon and the Two of Wands. In your Obstacles and Challenges, we have that Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. In your outcome, we have the Sun and we have the Knight of Pentacles. All right. Now, this is lovely because this tells me that, you know, you do have a soulmate type situation going on here. However, your partner, your partner is a little immature. They maybe aren't quite as involved as you guys are or as you are, as you were hoping things would be between the two of you. And you end up feeling like uh, one minute you guys are uh, happy and playful and childlike. And on the other hand, you the next you are uh, being deceived and manipulated. Uh, you know, this can be a successful relationship. It's just that your partner seriously uh, needs to grow up. Now, whether you decide that you want to wait around and be kind of emotionally tortured while they do this growing up, that's something else. So while you are looking ahead to the future and planning things, again, you're like the FBI. You can find out any of these things that are going on. The, the lies that they were told, that sneakiness of the Seven of Swords is going to be exposed, and you're going to find out exactly what it is that's been going on, that's been worrying you, that you just knew. You just knew it, but you were being told that you were crazy. You were being told that it wasn't happening. You were told you were being possessive or jealous or overreacting. But you know, deep down inside, you always need to trust that intuition, okay? And when we get to your obstacles and challenges, you know, the previous card in this row was that tower. And when you find out these things that are being exposed, it breaks your heart. Do you stay? Do you mourn over it and try to, uh, you know, start over again? Do you forgive them one more time? Do you uh, look for new love that is, is waiting for you? There's something better for you, you know? I love that show, uh, 90 Day Fiance. And if you guys watch that, you know, there's Rose and there's Ed, and he was always like treating her really bad or saying really rude things, emotionally abusing her, making her feel like crap, um, and embarrassing her uh, worldwide, basically. And, and she's sleeping on a dirt floor, basically, in a house full of rats in this third world country. And she turned him down because even though he was offering her security and home and, uh, you know, a better life in the United States, uh, she would rather be without because she knew her own worth. And that's what I want for you. I want you to know your own worth and that you are worth more than having somebody constantly break your heart and, uh, <laughs> Just seriously abuse your emotions. All right. Now, your outcome is about, you know, moving slow and steady towards the future, which is very bright, okay? You have a, a point in your life where you're going to uh, have this epiphany that, you know, you do need this new growth. You do need to uh, have these things that are... Um, provided for you. I'm not talking about financially. I'm talking about respect. I'm talking about those type things. I'm talking about the security, um, the constancy of having somebody there who is as committed to a relationship as you are, like this king of pinnacles. And, you know, this may be somebody that's already in your life, or this could be somebody that has had an eye on you for a while. And they are, uh, you know, 
pretty much, this is going to be a new person coming into your life who is offering you that type of security and that type of love where it doesn't matter, you know, what's going on or who is around your partner. Uh, you don't have to worry about those type of things. You don't have to worry about anything um, sneaky and lying, you know, going on. You know, where they have all kinds of people in on it. This is kind of the feeling I'm getting is kind of gross and yuck. Uh, it kind of feels like maybe they have friends that distract you so they can go and do something else behind your back. It's just it's a real gross kind of feeling that I'm having from this relationship, and you honestly deserve better than that. Okay, Gemini, so that is your reading for May 21st through the 31st. 2020 and I want to tell you guys to hurry over to my community tab and I'm doing a giveaway on May 31st and um, all you got to do to enter is uh, like the post and in the comments just write done or something okay whatever something like that in the comments so that um, I know that it's you I can't tell who you are when you just like a post uh, but if you comment, I can see your name and enter you into the drawing. Okay, Gemini, I love you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.